You want to hear something? All right, I'm going to make another point. So I had a little like beef with this guy, Top Ticket Trades. Okay, uh, whatever. I guess he was mad at me because I made a video saying don't buy AMC, you know, just hold AMC, buy GameStop. I did apologize. I was a little stressed out. <laughs> yes, Dad. Uh, sometimes I have a little like a uh, bipolar condition. I really do. I have little ups and downs. I had a very stressful day. Actually, it was like stressful two days. And I kind of apologized. I did. I said, I told all the apes. I said, I'm sorry. Buy AMC. Load up the boat. By the way, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. This video is entertainment purposes only. But I said, uh, I apologize. The ape father was wrong. My wife, she became like Adrian to me. She sat me down. She said, listen to me, Richard, you have to see this through. That's it. I know that you're getting frustrated. I know the stock market is driving you crazy, but you got to see this through. That's it. You know, the ape father, people, you know, are inspired by you. And, you know, if you're telling them to stop buying AMC, you're, you're ripping apart their confidence. She goes, you stop this right now. You get on there. She did. I swear to you. I swear. She really was a wonderful motivator to me that day. And she said, you tell people to buy AMC. You stick to your convictions. And I'm like, I'm like, you're right. I'm sorry. All right. So I still believe in GameStop, though. I'm still buying GameStop. But yes. Buy AMC and buy, buy GameStop. So whatever. So we had like this back and forth thing, top ticket trades, where it led to him calling me a pedophile. Now, <laughs> I'm going to say something, okay? Obviously, I think he even knows and everyone knows I'm not a pedophile. I mean, that's pretty crazy stuff, right? Okay. I love my children. They're my whole world to me. Like I said, you know the movie John Q? I, I'm a type of a father that would take my heart out of my body to save my child, to give them life. I would end my life to give them life. Okay, so there is no question <laughs> that I am not a pedophile. I mean, I don't know why why he even said that for. I mean, that was some crazy stuff. But you want to know why? Now he's making a video, not a video, excuse me, a comment. He's making a comment saying, you know, I, I don't like what Lou is doing to you. I guess maybe I touched him in some way. And he goes, I want to back you up. You know what? Go for it. Go for it. Do me a favor. I wish more people would back me up because Lou is a moron. Lou is an idiot and more people need to see. You know what would be an amazing thing? You know what would be an amazing thing? If, if, if YouTubers came together as one united family and when they saw another YouTuber doing something wrong, like what Lou is doing right now, okay, he's basically talking about a woman that has stage four breast cancer. He's talking about a woman that could die, that that has two children that their whole lives depend on her living, her existence, her husband's life depend on her existence. And he's talking about her in such a horrible way, making fun of her that she had to wear a wig because she's getting chemotherapy uh, treatments, you know, calling her a man, saying that 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 she's a wildebeest, saying that he'll punch her jaws out, saying that he doesn't care. She's not my favorite. She, she, she means nothing to me. I don't care. Basically, he's saying that she doesn't care that she has that, that Lou is saying he doesn't care my wife has stage four cancer. Lou is saying he doesn't care my wife could die. And you know, top ticket trade, it would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to me if not only you, but other YouTubers would come forward and call this piece of shit Lou out. Call him out and tell him he's wrong. You know, that would that would knock his confidence down. Because see, he thinks right now he's in the right, this this low life fucking piece of shit. He thinks he's in the right. Okay, and if you know what would happen if enough YouTubers would start making videos on this and actually call Lou out, you would take his freaking confidence level like this. So, and then he'll be nothing. Then he'll be nothing. Take rip this man's power away. Stop making him think that he has the right to say anything he wants, especially about people who have life life threatening conditions. So, top ticket trades. If you do make a video. And help me call out this piece of garbage, Lou. I would have a lot of respect and I would appreciate you. And I'm also calling on other YouTubers to do the same. Thank you.